First of all, can I just ask, um, are you anticipating to receive a certain degree of home support during your UK tour, despite your introduction as a heel to TNA? Uh, tough to say, you know. I mean, uh, you know, I think that English wrestling fans generally as a whole are quite intelligent. They're, you know, they're quite educated, and that being the case, some of them have got to uh, appreciate uh, my abilities in the ring. So, yeah, I guess so. Do you think TNA should be looking at tapping a little bit further into the UK market, maybe staging a live pay-per-view event over here? Possibly. There's always issues with pay-per-views, aren't there? Because obviously they're going to go out live. So the fact that we'd have to run a pay-per-view that would air um, later in the US would mean that it's difficult to sell a pay-per-view that's not going live in the US, if that makes sense. I guess that was the deal when they ran SummerSlam in 92. Yeah. Um, in in the you know they didn't do a great number of buys even though it was a fantastic show you know did a great number of merch on on the show I guess that's why you know WWF never decided to go back and do it so um, but it's definitely one of the best wrestling markets in the world and definitely that can be tapped into it you know um, hopefully we do more shows here coming in the future. Um, how did you feel personally coming into TNA and immediately becoming embroiled in a feud with an in-ring legend like Kurt Angle? Yeah, oh, it's fantastic. You know, very few people get a chance to wrestle Kurt Angle, let alone be embroiled in a, in a feud like I was, you know, and uh, get the better of it on a number of occasions. So it, it, was, it was a huge opportunity for me. For you personally, who's the best wrestler you've ever faced in your career so far? Um, it's a tough one to say. There's, there's a few names that, that stand out, you know. Uh, Samoa Joe, obviously Kurt Angle. Uh, um, AJ and Daniels, two other names, you know, recently, and, and obviously Brian Danielson would be a name that would stand out. With the likes of Hulk Hogan and Ric Flair arriving and the live show on January 4th, it's quite clear to see that TNA are a company that are on the rise. Was this a factor in your decision to sign with the company rather than maybe the WWE? No, not 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 so much, really. Not so much. I mean, well, that kind of broke after I had uh, signed, um, which was kind of kind of good for me that you know after I got on board then things you know really sort of picked up and started changing and uh, you know now I really feel like I'm part of a company with a uh, you know that uh, you know got a great direction and, and a great ambition and is really you know taking the taking the fight. You were ranked sixth in the PWI top 500 wrestlers of 2009 what are you looking to accomplish in TNA over the next year? Number one Number one would be a good thing, wouldn't it? <laughs> hey, number one. Um, you know, AJ's got the belt, makes him the best wrestler in the world. So uh, in my mind, I'd like to obviously try and get that away from him. OK, well, thank you very much for talking to us. No worries. Take it easy. You too. Thank you. OK, then, Joe. Bye-bye, mate.